What's up guys, Void here, and today I'm going to be teaching you about how to optimize your combos in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll be talking about a little bit of theory that I came up with in my head, and kind of how you can apply that to your own game. It might be a little hard to get, but I'll walk you through it, it'll be super simple, I promise. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Thank you Squarespace for supporting this video. So you know how if you hit somebody before hit stun ends, it's considered a combo, right? It's considered a true combo. What if I told you there were ways to combo things even after hit stun? So look at it like this. Your hit stun is about this long, right? But what if your opponent only has a move that comes out on frame three after hit stun? Then until frame one, two, three, you can hit them for two extra frames after hit stun. Let's call this hit stun plus two. Now, if you apply that to Let's say Joker. Joker's fastest option out of hit stun, his first fastest option is double jump. So double jump happens frame one after hit stun is over. That pretty much gives you no room to kind of combo Joker if he double jumps. But you can always do a combo that covers double jump. But for the most part, double jump is always an option a character will have. Hit stun plus zero. Double jump will always be there. If you can use a move to cover double jump, great. You can keep your combo going. But if you can't, your combo is going to be limited perfectly by hit stun. But let's say you can cover Joker's double jump. So Joker would not have an option to use until frames one, two, three after hit stun. So you have hit stun plus two frames to combo Joker. This concept applies to pretty much everybody. If your opponent has a frame one option out of hit stun, there's characters like Lucina's up B, Luigi's down B, Snake's grenades. You generally have to do completely true combos on these characters. However, if the opponent doesn't have those options, then you have an additional one to three frames to combo them. And this is pretty universal as long as you know which combos are which. Now, of course, I can talk about this all I want, but I know visual representation will work better for you. So let's show you some examples. Here I have my trusty sidekick splat to show you that you know, the computer's air dodging, the computer's trying to get out of things. So first things first, Splat, after I down throw you, could you jump? Mm -hmm. Now if you saw, it, it'll be very, very brief, but let me see if you guys can see the little jump bubble. Did you see it? Well, what if I freeze it? Do you guys see this little jump bubble that's happening under Joker? So that, is, this is essentially, uh, this is a hit stun plus one combo because I can hit characters if they can only double jump, which is a lot of characters. Lucina would be able to up B out of this. Luigi would be able to down B out of this. Joker, he's a character where he can only really act on frame three as long as you cover double jump. So on Joker, you can do combos that consist of hit stun plus two more frames. And to confirm this, while the double jump is getting caught, uh, could you air dodge? And even with air dodge, Joker is still getting hit. So Joker's frame through air dodge is not fast enough to stop a Pichu from doing down throw forward air at 0%. And again, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I actually really love Squarespace. I'm genuinely surprised at how much I like them. The website design is just super fresh, makes a lot of sense even to someone like me. And overall, like it's so nice to look at. So make sure you use discount code VOID when you go to Squarespace, it'll be super worth your time. So after I down throw you, uh, well, we'll try jumping, All right? So that works. That's the, uh, the plus one, right? Try air dodging. Oh, well, even that, try air dodging. Air dodge doesn't work because Luigi has a frame three air dodge. So that's a plus two situation. And yeah, try down being. You can just hold it after down throw. Yeah. So that, that just doesn't combo. It does not combo against Luigi. Because Luigi can always, always, always down B. Since this combo is not a true combo with hit stun, it is not true on a character with a frame one escape that is intangible, like an intangible attack. But it is true with the frame one escape being double jump. It's really big. In my opinion, it's one of Pichu's better low percent combos, but what if instead of Joker, we tried doing this on Wolf? Now, Wolf is a character with a frame two air dodge. So on hit stun, hit stun ends, 
frame one, he can jump. So if I do a combo that covers Wolf's jump, I will still hit him even on the first frame after hit stun. But on frame two, he can air dodge. Wolf is a character with a frame two air dodge. So let's try this again. Could you try jumping? It caught the jump, right? So this combo pretty much works across the board on hit stun plus one frame. One more frame after hit stun, Pichu's down throw forward air will hit your opponent. But on the second frame, could you try air dodging? Doesn't hit. Absolutely did not hit Wolf. Will not hit Wolf if he just if he air dodges immediately. So Pichu's down throw forward air is a perfect example of a combo that works on hit stun plus one frame, but it will not work on hit stun plus two frames because characters that can act on frame two will generally get out of down throw forward air. And on hit stun plus three, which is like heavy, heavy characters are essentially hit stun plus three where their air dodge is frame four and they don't really have good frame data on those characters those are the characters you can super duper combo ddd does have a frame four air dodge bowser has a frame four air dodge donkey kong if i'm not mistaken ganondorf these characters you can combo incredibly hard because they can only act on the fourth frame after hit stun so hit stun one two three frames they can't do anything besides double jump and on frame four is truly when their hit stun ends because they can't act. So if you apply this principle to pretty much everyone on the cast, it's very different depending on the characters. Some characters have frame three nares, some characters have frame two air dodges, some characters have armor on their double jump or they have a frame one down B in like intangibility escape. These combos are not purely universal, but you can use this concept to truly optimize your combos. For example, one thing that's insane with Peach and Daisy, you can do down tilt, up air, drag down loops on DK until like 100% if he doesn't have his double jump because he cannot act for three frames after hit stun. And while every character can double jump, you can always cover a character's double jump, almost always. And if they can't, you know, they're, they're in disadvantage regardless. You know, we take those. Bye bye. So essentially, that's the whole theory. That in Smash Brothers, comboing is not as linear as hit stun and that's it. Combos go so much farther than just hit stun. Can I do this combo a little later to see if I can catch their double jump and extend my combo a lot farther? Or do I know my combo is only true with hit stun? And if I mess up and they have a frame one out, like I'm gonna get punished. Combos in Smash go so, so, so far. And it's one of the things that makes Smash really great. And I just really thought I wanted to share this with people. Like, if I could share this with people and have them understand it, then who knows? Somebody else could be the next optimization station to go to. And I'd really like to see a lot of lab rats kind of use this to their advantage. Like, while this combo is true with hit stun, just how far can we take it? with hit stun plus three or hit stun plus two or hit stun plus one how far can we optimize combos against frame two air dodgers versus frame three air dodgers those are the kinds of things that i like to see and i really hope this video helped someone out there kind of understand how combos work in smash while we do have our bread and butters it can go so much farther you can have slight resets slight delays just to make your combos just so much more juicy thanks everyone for watching the video Hope you guys have a good time. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.